I'm gonna tempt you with the meatballs, but I'm gonna start you with my cauliflower Alfredo mac okay, and cheese. Okay, come on over okay? here. Okay? All right, so here's the deal. For, I've for, done this trick too. I love this trick. This is such a good trick. You have to, can I just tell you, I'm, you've heard it here first. Cauliflower is the new kale. Yep. It is so versatile. It is so exceptionally- And nutrient dense. Nutrient dense and neutral. So you can really do anything with it. I cut it up raw, freeze it, throw it in my smoothies to make them ultra creamy and rich. Here we're gonna use it to basically make a really light bechamel sauce and give a, your kids some veggies they don't even know they're having. Sauce. Right. So here's what I did. I cut up a whole head of cauliflower into florets, put it in a pot with whole milk and some veggie stock or chicken stock, whatever you have, right. and simmer that until they're fork tender. You know, these right. made to like squish in your hands. And then I'm just gonna take that whole mix and put it right into my blender. And this, guys, I'll, you know, I still have some milk, and you'll see I'm gonna add some cheese and a little bit of butter. I'm not like, you know, depriving my kids of the good stuff, but I'm doctoring it up with this bulking agent that actually is so rich it's and filled flavorful. With nutrients. So about, I added about two tablespoons of butter into the hot mix of this cauliflower. Give it a quick blend so it's nice and creamy. That's gonna come right over here. I've got two shallots here that I've been uh, sauteing just to make them a little bit translucent. Thank you so much. And in comes our cheesy, buttery, delightful cauliflower blend. Yum. And in with this, I'm gonna mix about a cup of ricotta. Yum. And then to give it that really authentic, delicious mac and cheese flavor, I've got about a cup of pecorino or Parmesan cheese here as well. And you can go, the idea, you'll see where, um, where I'm going with this. But the idea for a lot of these recipes is just taking dishes that your kids already know and love and adding things that force them to try something new because a lot of the time it's just the it's just the idea that they don't like it. It's not the actual flavor of it. Everyone loves right. mac and cheese. I think that you need to bulk up your kids' meals by hiding the vegetables, which is what we're doing here. <laughs> Sometimes and I show all them. else fails, lie to them. <laughs> um,